Now, you might think the prospect of killer robots stalking the battlefield sounds like science fantasy, but as well as unmanned aircraft, the U.S. already has thousands of military robots in Afghanistan. And now a Russian team have built one, too. R.T. Stombarton reports. Could the armies of the future look like this? Well, not just yet. But militaries around the world aren't ignoring robot technology. The U.S. has been using unmanned drones for a number of years. Now it's testing land-based robots in Iraq and Afghanistan, which, despite being in their early stages, are showing a lot of potential. But what about Russia? Well, a team from Moscow Bauman Technical University have been at work on some answers. This was the team's first creation. It's a bomb-detecting and destroying robot. First, it analyzes the package with these sensors here and then destroys whatever explosives inside with high-powered water jets just here. This was the team's first creation, and then they then moved on to military robots like this one. This is a spy robot. It's able to look around corners and up into first-floor windows with an extendable camera. And then, if it needs to call in fire support to tackle the bad guys, it calls on this next robot. In fact, these creations are the latest in a long history of robot development in Russia. Longer than you might think. In 1938, Russian robot tanks were invented. They took part in the Russian Finnish War. The person who controlled it was in a shelter pressing buttons. He was able to see the tank and to control it. The tank attacked and shot on its own. But despite this early innovation, Russian robot development has been largely ignored since the 70s. The U.S. took the lead and now has thousands of robots operating in Afghanistan. This team wants Russia to catch up. But will their robot meet with approval from the Russian army? I can't give you a definite answer if this robot will be used in our army, but we hope so. It may not be this exact model, but something improved, modified and modernized. Robots don't rule the battlefield yet, but thanks to Ilya and his kind, this might be a shot in the right direction. Tom Barton, RT.